Okay, in this video, we're going to add a little bit of subtle animation to our camera. And we, because we have everything set up, we already have our camera in here and we have our third person uh, character camera whenever we wanna switch to it, um, we can do that. So in order to do that, if you click your camera, you expand this, you can see, um, actually we already have the ability to animate the transform. Cause really what I wanna do is I just want to add a keyframe and then pull it over, or sorry, um, add a keyframe, move the marker, pull it over, and then just, I want this camera to just move from right to left just a little bit. Uh, or, you know, maybe left to right. Maybe, maybe I like that better. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so I'm just gonna reposition a little bit. And I haven't added any keyframe, so it's not messing with anything. But if I put it at uh, frame zero, you'll see right now we're looking at frames. <clears throat> if you're curious why it was seconds before and frames now, you can actually change it to whichever you want. It doesn't really matter. If you go to this right here, 30 FPS, and you go to show time as, you go to seconds right there, it'll show a second. So um, maybe that's easier for some of you. All right, I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more room. All right, <clears throat> so at zero seconds, I want the camera's location right here. So uh, to be wherever you have it set. So make sure your, key, your time marker is at the beginning and hit the keyframe button, okay? Uh, don't drag the beginning. So this is the beginning of your animation is that green bar. Um, drag the time marker. Uh, okay, so at zero seconds, it's there. And let's get a feel for how long we want this to last. Establishing. I think that's probably good. Maybe three seconds, maybe four. Let's just go with three seconds. At three seconds, I want the position of this camera to be, I'm gonna drag it over, there. And because it did not auto keyframe it for me, I'm just gonna manually hit this keyframe button. I want it to be there. All right, so then if you scrub between this, you'll see. Let's see in the preview what that looks like. Also, I don't really like that it's doing this ease in, ease out. Normally I would, I think it's good practice to have some ease in, ease out in your animation. So slow down, the slow movement, it's kind of slowing to a stop. In a camera pan, I actually want to keep this consistent. Like I want it to move a consistent speed. So in order to do that, it, for any of you animators out there, um, you can actually adjust the curves of how it's interpreting your keyframes by selecting those uh, keyframes down there, coming up to the show animation keys and curve editor. And there is a hot key that I'm forgetting. But basically, if you hit this uh, linear interpolation, go back here. See if that did it for us. No, it didn't. Um, let's try show animations and curve editor. Maybe we're not zoomed out far enough. No, we are. Um, hold on. F common hotkey. Well, that's not working for us. Um, maybe it's that we aren't flagged for keyframes. Um, let's just do it this way. Let's let's do keyframe. Um, if you right click a keyframe and you select one of these options here, you'll see cubic, that's just auto. It'll do an ease, uh, ease in, ease out. Let's make that linear, which is just going to not slow down or uh, speed up. I think that's an easier way to visualize it too. So don't, don't even worry about the curve editor. If you clicked it, just unclick it so that it doesn't mess up your display anywhere else. Okay, so we have our camera movement. Uh, let's select that so we can see the preview. And I think that's pretty good. Now, the last thing is I want to make sure that on the very last frame, I return control to my player camera. So I'm actually gonna drag the length of this all the way down to my, my keyframe right there. I'm gonna pull it one more up there. So I'm just gonna move it one past where I ended up. On the very last frame, actually, um, I'm just gonna make sure this goes right here. This camera cuts thing at the, at the top, 
Um, let's let's readjust this. I am going to pull that back to three seconds and then snap that. So your camera cuts at the very top. If you don't see this, you can you can always add it. Uh, but basically, this camera cuts is determining what camera is active at the moment. And I just pulled the end of my animation two three seconds. And so during this time, this is the camera that's going to be active. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is I want to expand this. It doesn't matter how big. We're going to we're going to pull it back and move your time marker to three seconds and then add a different camera cut. And to do that, you're just going to go to your camera cuts over here, click camera and click third person character. This is our player camera. And you'll see it's it's going to switch control whenever it hits a different camera cut. Now, I don't really want it to sit here because we're not doing any animating. I just want it to be a really quick camera cut. So we are going to just pull that in to something real small there. I think I think that's pretty good. I think that's fine. And then make sure that the end of your animation is right there. So we're only adding just enough. We're only adding just enough that we are we are definitely switching that camera cut. So it's kind of a little hack that you know you can do if you don't want to animate the camera moving back to the player or anything like that. So we're just gonna play that. Okay, again, to zoom in, zoom out, that was control, hold control and middle mouse wheel. So you can preview our camera animation. If you wanna see the preview shot, just hold, or just click your camera track right here. And then it's going to switch. And we're not actually seeing the preview switch because uh, we need to, you know, we have our establishing shot selected, so don't worry about that. Um, okay, so we have some basic movement. You know, you could do some fancier things. You could zoom in, you could make it follow a track. So if you wanna do any of that, I encourage you to look that up. If you wanna add multiple camera cuts, you could always add more cameras in and switch the camera cuts to those. Just make sure that on the very last frame you're returning, or the very last portion, you're returning to the player camera because that will be important. Otherwise, um, we'll be able to move the player around, but there will be a different active camera and it'll just look kind of weird. Once you get something you like, um, I think you're you're set to keep working. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll add a fade in, fade out, so this doesn't feel so jarring and just an immediate cut, and then an immediate switch. So we'll kind of blend that difference just a little bit. 